We just want their moral support and their presence in the kitchen while we do the dishes. Dear sisters, just because he was a man does not mean that none of us applies to us. We also can imitate his actions just as well. One of the things I love about Prophet Muhammad was that he would smile frequently and abundantly. I feel that he had the weight of the world on his shoulders, literally. Think about it. He was born as an orphan without his father. He lost his mother at a very young age. He was raised by his grandfather and his uncle. He learned at age 40 that he was a messenger of Allah with the responsibility to pass on Allah's ultimate message to mankind. If he can manage to smile through all of that, we certainly can smile. We certainly can manage to smile when our husband walks in the door at the end of a long day. In the days of technology, we get so immersed in our phones and our we have to acknowledge each other's presence. Why was the turning off the fashion and giving our husband the attention that he or she needs? Sisters, I guarantee it. If we keep our smile at the door with a warm hug, the entire evening will be The food is good, conversations we have, we will be able to get Brothers, if you like fishing, do you also have to like worms? No, right? No. But most of you, but must you buy worms and handle, learn to handle worms? Of course. And that's because the fish like worms. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was great at acknowledging what his wife's needs were, and he would treat them how they wanted to be treated. That is only possible when we tune into each other's lives and recognize each other's needs. We, we all feel love in ways. Some need all these some need words of encouragement, some need small gestures like, like flowers, gifts, or hugs. And some need help with housework. So we have to learn to learn learn to love our spouse the way they want to be learned. They want to be loved. Since Aisha was a lot younger than Rasulullah, he acknowledged that her needs were sometimes like once they were traveling and he told the caravan to proceed without. With Aisha, we this with her from one to another. He did that many times. Sometimes he would win, sometimes he would win. Aisha realized how many times do we invest in building a friendship with our spouses? One of his wives, Sophia Razila, and her was not very tall. Trying to climb a hill was difficult for her. And traveling with her, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would kneel down on one knee. So she could step on his knee and climb up the hill. How many brothers open the car door for their wives, pull out a chair, or something equivalent to make it memorable for their wife? Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu handled the disagreements very patiently and with a lot of wisdom. His wives would sometimes talk back to him. He was very kind and loving. He never raised his hand on any of his wives. He spoke with them kindly. How many times can a dis disagreement be handled easily if one of the spouses has patience? May Allah SWT grant us all that patience. As mothers, we're generally stressed out and want perfection, especially when it comes to the upbringing of our children. When my kids were little, I had a very different era and a very rigid view of the prayer. My kids were not allowed to bother me or come near me while I was praying. Then I heard the story about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu praying and learned how his grandchildren used to climb up on his shoulders when he was in sujood. Instead of getting upset, he would make his sujood longer so they enjoy being on his back longer. SubhanAllah. Since then, I am not an angry mom when I pray. And guess what? My kids actually want to come by and crawl next to me as I'm praying. It makes me happy seeing that even if my kids are not praying with me, they're building a positive association with him. Sisters, when mothers with young children come to the masjid and their kids are crying, let's show them love and mercy. Trust me, they're already embarrassed about their children crying. We're not helping them by giving them angry looks. 
Let's play with the kids and help calm them down to make the experience of coming to young children easier for them. When we're we used to treat children with, with a lot of respect. Sometimes if he was a gathering and his daughter Fatima Alatra would come to lead her to his spot. Fatima Zilho at a very young age to respect the Our children are constantly learning from us. Yes. Carolina shows good language and respect others is good, but they will follow our actions, not our words. If they see us screaming over a disagreement, over a disagreement you bet that when they have a disagreement, they'll be screaming too, because our actions speak louder than words. I pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us guidance and the strength to follow the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let our children witness three this through our actions and let this be the legacy we leave behind to our children and our future generations. Amen. Oh, Lord. 